Today we're joined by phone with Calhoun County Judge Floyd Nutt to talk about the 2022 Hogskin Festival and Rodeo in Hampton happening April 2nd through the 9th. Uh, Judge, thanks for taking some time to talk with us today. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, <laughs> sir. Always a pleasure. And uh, this is the 30th annual Hogskin Holidays. And after a couple of trying years for events, this has got to be exciting for y'all. It is. I, I think everybody's <clears throat> pretty much ready to get out and get over this deal. We we did have our rodeo uh, the, the year of the COVID hit. This is actually our 31st year for the rodeo, but we skipped one year on the festival. But hopefully everything's going to be full-blown this year and everybody come out. Pretty weather. We need pretty weather. We've had three uh, previous years of bad weather, and uh, that's always a, you know, a bummer when you get rained out and tornadoes and storms. But we're hoping and praying for pretty weather this year. Everybody come out and have a good time. Absolutely. That's really what it's all about. And y'all y'all build that for people to come to. Hogskin Holidays, um, lots of events, lots of attractions, the rodeo, which we'll speak on that, coming up here just shortly. And really what stands out to me is the fact that it spans the whole week. I mean, we have events happening April, April 2nd through the 9th, uh, and we'll talk about the rodeo coming up here just shortly. Uh, what makes y'all decide to use that full week, and what are some of the attractions folks can look forward to and participate in well we kick it off this uh this coming saturday the second uh thornton a uh, small town in north part county they always kick it off with a barbecue and have a live band playing and then also on the second we have our sponsor appreciation dinner at the county park at hogskin arena that we have so many sponsors that have been so good to us and allows us to do the things we do at the hogskin arena so we always cook them a big meal on, uh, we've done it at different times, but this year it's going to be Saturday the 2nd, and uh, invite all our sponsors, and we all always then feed the hog skin honeys, which is a big part of our rodeo, that's so uh, good to carry our sponsor flags and, and to give them the recognition that they very well deserve. So, Absolutely. And, and as far as a full week, we just try to have family fun for uh, all week long. I mean, we don't have a whole lot going on in South Arkansas, so we try to make it uh, the best we can all week long for something to do uh, for the entire family. Most of it's free. Don't call. We don't charge for most everything we do, other than the carnival. You know, we have a carnival. Johnson's Amusements comes and has a, a nice carnival for us, and but most everything's free, and just people come out and enjoy. Absolutely, sir. That's what it's all about. Hogskin Holidays on your flyer. It says family, love, and tradition. And that's exactly what we got going on. And listeners, you can jump to hogskin-holidays.com to get the full itinerary, find some things to be a part of, and have a good time with the Hogskin Holidays um, this coming up uh, week. And, sir, Friday and Saturday, April 8th and 9th, that's really a big weekend of events. Uh, that's when we have the parade that Friday. Like you mentioned, the carnival opens up for those two days. On Saturday, there's a variety variety of uh of uh contests like bago and marble run horseshoe toss and bingo and a whole bunch of things going on april 8th and 9th tell us a little bit about that well we also have a uh, have a live band uh, hsy will be here <clears throat> uh Bodie jackson will be performing we have the barbecue contest which is a big big thing a lot of people come to that enter that have some nice cash prizes to give away for that uh, and then, of course, that night on Friday and Saturday, we kick off the rodeo at Hogskin Arena, and uh, that'll be a fun time, too. Oh, Only yeah, that's time, always we a good have, time. We got a little problem this year. What's that? At the, at the arena, we built new bleachers, and we've had our material ordered since last August, and we have not gotten our material in. They've been promising me the material since uh, January. We have not got it in yet. So we might have a little problem with seating. Uh, don't know. Just want to kind of forewarn folks. Uh, we've got a lot of seating there, but we've got some bleachers that's not complete and it's not looking good. Uh, he keeps promising me I'm going to get it this week, but that remains to be seen yet. Well, we'll pray y'all get that uh, get that in yeah. and get that handled. If we can get the material, we can we can knock it out in a few days. I mean, we may have to work at night. We've got plenty of lights down there, so we'll 
we'll do everything we can to get it done if we can get the material in. Absolutely. Well, listeners, if y'all have never been to the Calco Rodeo and haven't checked that out and been a part of that event, I encourage you to do so. It really is uh, high energy, lots of fun. You mentioned the hogskin honey's coming. Uh, there's always a great rodeo clown or two out there making you laugh. It's really, it's really a lot of fun. I encourage our listeners to get out and support the hogskin holidays. And speaking of supporting, when you go to the festival, pay attention to those sponsors and support local businesses that are helping us uh, have a good time in South Arkansas. Um, sir, real quick, if folks want to be a part of uh, any of the contest or or they want to vend or they want to do anything like that, um, how do they sign up for that? Do they do it online at y'all's website or they do it day of the event? How, how do they get uh, involved? They, they can do it online, but they can also call the Calhoun County Judge's Office and that's 870-798-4818. They can call the judge's office and we can direct them where they need to go. Absolutely. So if y'all want to get signed up, get in touch with the judge's office and they'll make that happen. Uh, lots of great things uh, coming up. So real quick, tell us a little bit about the rodeo. You mentioned this is the 31st year of the rodeo happening. Uh, what's some of that history there and, 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 and what, what keeps it so exciting each year? Well, we have, we've grown every year. Um, up until the last two years when we had the tornadoes and things, it wasn't, you know, it hurt our attendance. Mm -hmm. But we have grown every year, and uh, we've added things to our arena. We've got one of the best arenas in the state, if not the best. And uh, we've got a great stock contractor, h and Rodeo. We've got the Clown family coming. He's uh, He participated in national events. He's real good. And uh, as far as the stock goes, it'll be... You know, some of the best stock that you'll see. Uh, got a great announcer, uh, Monty Steve, coming from Oklahoma. And just uh, we, we just got a good rodeo. It's, it's grown every year. It gets better every year. Hey, and I, I can uh, I can attest to that. I've been to it a few times, and it really it really is a great job. And y'all, so you're right. The arena is top notch. It's comfortable. It's really nice, and it's just it's just all around a good time. And uh, we appreciate y'all putting this on year after year. And like you mentioned earlier in the interview, giving people in South Arkansas uh, something to get out, family fun, and enjoy. And uh, that that's just we definitely appreciate that, listeners. It's the Hog Skin Holidays, April second through the ninth. You can go to Hog skin-holidays.com to get the full itinerary. The Calco Rodeo happens April 8th and 9th at 7.30 p.m. nightly. Uh, it's, again, family, love, and tradition at the Hog Skin Holidays Festival uh, coming up next week. You're certainly invited to it, and I want to throw this out there real quick. You can also go to accessarcla.com, navigate to the contest page, and there's a chance for you to win uh, passes to the Calco Rodeo right there. So go try your luck at accessarcla.com. Uh, we've been speaking with Calhoun County Judge Floyd Nunt. Sir, is there anything you'd like to, to add in uh, before we wrap up? No, I just pray for pretty weather. That's what we, you know, that's what we need, pretty weather where everybody can come out and enjoy. Absolutely. We'll keep our prayers up for that. Good-looking weather. And, uh, again, thank you all for doing all the work and uh, putting on such a great event. And uh, we certainly appreciate that, sir. All right. I appreciate you having us on this morning.